Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you uh, Windows 8 theme on Windows 7. Um, as you can see already, uh, I have tiles from uh, from the Windows 8 theme. Uh, that's my Windows 7 slideshow in the background. A um, uh, few things that's very interesting about this theme is uh, you can interact with uh, Device Manager from just clicking off the desktop. Um, there's a lot of things you can interact with. Uh, your network. Um, let's say you want to, I don't know, check your pictures, click images, and uh, your pictures are there, your videos, uh, everything's there, your documents, uh, your downloads. Yeah, I got quite some downloads. <laughs> uh, fonts. Um, okay, that's just folders. Okay, system tools, you have. Um, you can uh, go to control panel by just one click. Uh, you know, it does make life a little simpler doing it this way. Instead of finding, uh, go to two or three pages just to find one program, uh, the programs are sitting right off the desktop. Uh, um, as you can see, I have my, uh, my download and my upload speed are showing me. I'm not doing much right now, obviously. Um, my RAM is right there. I mean, sorry, RAM is here. My CPUs are here. My uh, hard drive is here. This is my start button. Uh, you know, click start, boom, pop start pops up. <laughs> so I put that there. It's pretty cool. My translator for translating languages. My eject button for uh, my DVD ROM, and my computer. Um, all my internet browsers, so that way I'm not limited to one. I can have multiple. Um, and to get tells within the theme. Um, you can click this little top arrow right here and a window pops up and you can actually choose from series of uh, little tiles of what you want to interact with uh, or what best suits you like for instance um, let's say you got a wireless uh, laptop you click that and the little tell pops up so you can put the tell anywhere you see fit um, it's setting error because I don't have a wireless setup obviously because I'm on a desktop um, I mean you have your calculator you just gotta click the, uh, the tell of uh, whatever you prefer and it pops up and you can stick it in however you want to customize your desktop um, I do I will put the uh, the links in the description uh, it's just two programs you need you know and then you're on your way it takes well, what three minutes to set up you know you can't go wrong um, for music you can do iTunes Zoom uh, for Xbox Live people you can click that and boom there you go <laughs> you can you can have some fun with stuff or you can uh, put in your own live you're, you click it the, uh, the little wrench and now uh, you put in your gamer tag take that out put in gamer tag and update red as every 6,000 seconds or you can put every 10 seconds and then click set and boom, it'll send you right in. Um, there's quite some things you can do with this. Uh, say you got a bat, if you're on your laptop, you want to check your battery. You put the uh, the little towel on your desktop so you can check your battery. You know, so that way you don't have to keep going down to the bottom of the screen and looking and all that. If you got custom desktops, as I know, that's how I like my stuff. You can uh, customize it. Go to your wrench and customize a. Uh, say speed fan you can customize a lot of stuff on this thing so that's why I like it it's pretty it's pretty fast and accessible um, you turn uh, your windows launcher there's quite a few things you can put on your desktop uh, let's close that out um, other things you can do also is um, let's see if I I only had this for like uh, you know a week and a half now but uh, let's see if I got it right. Let's see if I can uh, make the background. Where is it? BG. You can uh, tint the theme itself so that way it's not so bright. It's not so you know, you know, so it's not so bright. It'll hurt your eyes or anything like that. Uh, let's put it back how it was. You know, you can set it to. You see how it changes you can set it to whatever your preference settings is honestly um, 
And the best thing about it, you can interact with this. See, you can put your Gmail, you click your settings, and you can put your Gmail, check mail every, I put 10 seconds because, you know, I need to see my email. <laughs> um, you can even uh, interact with Windows 7 and Windows 8 at the same time. You just come in between the space, and that's your desktop for Windows 7. Personalize, and we go to, um, let's say, I have quite some themes, I know. Uh, let's say we go into Windows Live Cloud. We click that, and it changes. You know, and then you can also cancel. You can also set this to go every 10 seconds, and then save the changes and then it cycles every 10 seconds so that way your background stays alive um, I did another video on showing you how to uh, do the slideshow for Windows 7 so you know and uh, this is how it looks it looks it's pretty slick honestly you can even uh, move your uh, your start your restart and your sleep button around you know and uh, that's why I like it so this is Windows 8 on Windows 7.